We get more details on the new enhancements coming to the iPhone success. Apple Music won't be charging the same money for everyone around the world. And LG and HTC sweeten the pot for those who buy a new flagship in the US. I'm Jaime Rivera, and for those of you that didn't pick up the Wednesday joke, aren't you happy today's Thursday? This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today starts with LG and HTC, as both companies want to sweeten the pot in case you buy their flagships in the US, given the success of the Galaxy S6. LG was giving away a free battery and a micro SD card, but now they're giving away a battery and the free leather cover back, which is great. In the case of HTC, even though it only applies to Verizon for the HTC case, you're getting $100 on a Google Play gift card, which is great. Uh, which one are you picking? Other official news have Microsoft with a new offering for the Surface Pro 3, a product that's already very old, but interesting. The company is now offering an option which is a Core i7 model, 8 gigs of RAM, and 128 gigs of storage for $1,300. And then when you think about the fact that you could also get the Core i5 model with 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, you wonder which one is better. But hey, both options are available for you to pick from. And great news for those of you interested in watching video in high frame rates as YouTube has just confirmed that 60 frames per second has now reached mobile. It was launched in the desktop in October. Now it's available for iOS and Android, though there are specific details on what devices can stream. And obviously you need content at 60 frames per second. And if you're wondering if the Pocket Now Daily will ever go 60 frames per second, you tell me. You want to see me moving any faster? Let's talk about the iPhone 6S. We were disappointed with the leaks of the chassis showing as an iPhone 6, pretty much. But we've got new details on a new Qualcomm chip that the iPhone will be using to power its LTE. Apparently, we are getting LTE Advanced Cat 6 for the iPhone 6S, and there are a ton of markets that already support it, which is great news. Another great news is that this chip is smaller, meaning Apple could bundle a larger battery. And given the fact that this chip will be more powerful, efficient, there is a lot of good that may come to this iPhone 6S if it ever happens. And finally, for the very interesting official news of the day, if you thought that everybody around the world was paying $10 for the Apple Music subscription service, actually that's not the case. And this is weird. This is not like Apple. Apple usually charges more across the world, but no, you'll be paying $2 for the service in India, $3 in Russia, $5 in Brazil, which is crazy. And we're wondering if Spotify has these same deals. We do know that it's a little bit less expensive in Latin America, but not by a significant margin. So it does lead me to the question of the day. How much do you currently pay for streaming? What service do you use? I currently use Spotify, $10. Uh, leave us a comment down below. Can't wait to hear what you listen to. You'll be getting $100 in a Google Play gift card. It took me so long to record this for that stupid siren to show up. Now that micro SD card is no more, you'll be getting you'll be getting a model for 265. God. Start with LG and HTC as both companies want to swing the pot in case you buy their Galaxy. LG and HTC as both companies want to swing the pot if you buy their flagships, given the success of the LG. Is both companies want to sweeten the pot in case you want to buy there. <laughs> All right, this is just too stupid. Friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.